Hi, you guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Smoke Show palette by ColourPop. Do you want to know what my thoughts are on this and what the swatches are? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So today is my one and only day off this week and I sat down to do a try on of this palette right here. I've had it sitting here for several weeks. It's just with only one day off, uh, it's kind of hard for me to do a whole lot of makeup try ons because technically I only have four days so I could do four per month. <laughs> um, I literally sat down, I dragged all my stuff in here, got my brushes, I was doing my makeup. I was down to the very, very end. All I was doing was adding the color underneath and my screen went black and I'm like, I wasn't recording. What the? Hmm? What? What happened? So, unfortunately, there was no reason for me just to start recording on my lower lash line. So, I'm not going to be able to show you guys how I created this look. But if you follow me and you watch any of my other tutorials, tutorials, ta -ta 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 -ta. if you watch any of my other tutorials, then I pretty much do it the exact same. I just use different colors and different palettes, as you know. But this is how I uh, created my first look using this palette. Now, I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna swatch this, and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I created this look since I can't show you. So, sorry. Here is the outside packaging. It's really, really cool, just like black and gray and white and silver. And then the back goes over the different colors. And let's see here. So once I open it, the outside looks just like the front. And then the back, my sticker's crooked. I'm like, oh, <laughs> someone just slapped that shit on. <laughs> That's a little crooked, but I mean, I don't care. That's the first time I think I've had something crooked, but that's fine. I mean, so what's on the inside that counts. So when you open her up, there is a mirror protector over, and then there was this that was inside, which now I will remove. And here are the colors. Again, I have now used it one time, so there is a little bit of like powderage going on, but that is the colors right there. Now I'm gonna swatch them for you, but how I created this look is I started with this white, and I went over everything, just basically did my base that I love to do. Then I went in and that color is Young Love. Then I went in with this Stone Age, this light gray color, and just did the top. Then I went in with my um, brush to the Slated, which is this middle gray color right here, and I kind of made it a little bit deeper. Then I went with the then I went in with a different brush with that same color to make it just a little bit darker in that crease area. Then I went in with this silver right here in the middle. This one is called Starstruck, and I put that on the first half of my lower lid. Then I went in with Smokin', which is a little bit of a darker gray because here's these two colors together. So this silver is what's on like the first part and then I put this on the middle part and then I went in with the black glitter, which is Night Dream and I went in with the corner and then kind of did the similar colors underneath my lower lid just to add a little bit of color. So that's what I did to create this look. I pretty much used every color in here, but these three. All of these I use, oh, can you even see my big old banana hands in the way? So I used everything in this palette, but the flat black and this silver color. Where was the other one? Oh, and then this metallic right here. So I did not use three out of the nine. So I used six of the different colors in here to create this look. This is what I came up with. I am really glad that I have this because if I do wanna have like these colors, everything is right here in one pan. So I really do like this palette. I like the color combination. I like the different mattes versus the shimmers. I like, I really do like this palette. 
these smaller palettes I do appreciate because it's like everything to create one look with all the same color tones inside. So I think this might be like my fourth or fifth one this size. All my other ones are bigger, but I love ColourPop. I, I just love their formulas. I don't know how they do it so inexpensive, but I do think that my look came out pretty cool. Like I don't think I've ever used these colors before and I'm actually... I'm kind of actually digging what I did. <laughs> so let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. So at least you can see the different colors all together on my skin. Okay, so now that I've touched every single color, here is the entire palette swatched. So there, there is that white color. And then it goes down to the smoking. There's the stone face slated no, sorry slated starstruck this one's ignite that's the one i did not use let's do it is the matte black that i didn't use full metal is this one that i did not use and then here is the what night dream that's the dark glittery one that i used in my corner but there's the entire palette this silver you guys <laughs> That silver is just stunning. I don't think I have a silver that is that creamy and does that type of like a pigment like showing up on my face. I am really, really pleased with the silver right here. So do I think this palette is worth it? Yes, especially if you want to do a smoky eye with the blacks and the grays or even just to have in your collection to use whenever you do want to have a little smoky eye or a little gray and black going on. I'm really glad that I have this. I'm glad that I was able to sit down now and use this because I think I want to use this a little bit more. What do you guys think? Let me know what your honest opinion is on how my look came out. Did you like it? Just let me know. <laughs> your positivity means the world and I greatly do appreciate it. Again, I'm really, really sorry that I was not recording, but at that point, I don't want to have to take my makeup off to redo it. Um, but sometimes you guys probably don't even watch how I put it together. You just watch the beginning to know the review. So hopefully you're not too disappointed. But I just wanted to at least be able to do this because, again, I've had this sitting here for several weeks. It's just I haven't had time because I've had other ones that kind of were a little bit more important to me to do first. Um, but now I finally got down to this one. I think I have two more left on my table here and then I'll be caught up. So I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> Let me tell you. But that is everything that I have for you. This is my, my first impressions using this palette. Again, I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. I love the way that it blended. It blended seamlessly, just like all ColourPop's formulas. I really do enjoy their palettes, their Super Shock Shadows. ColourPop is doing it for me. And again, I don't know how they do it so inexpensive and affordable, but I do greatly appreciate that. So again, I'm so glad that I have this. It just seems that ColourPop now is coming out with a brand new palette and collection every single week. And I'm definitely not going to keep up with that. I'm now gonna just start getting the ones that are completely different from the shades that I have. Cause sometimes it just seems that they're coming out with palettes that look almost exactly like other palettes, just colors are reversed or slightly different by a darker or a lighter variation. But it's like, come on, how many different palettes can you really create? <laughs> I don't have anything like this in my arsenal, so now I'm really glad with my Cricut sticker that I have this palette <laughs> to add. So again, that is everything for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Let me know, did you see this palette? Did you buy this palette? Do you want to get this palette? Do you now want to get it or not want to get it? Let me know down below. Again, your positivity means the world and I greatly do appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I will see you on the next one. Bye.